What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I'm Andrew Sundoku. Thanks for hanging out with me through this next episode. Uh, I've been missing, I'm sure a couple of you have realized, I've been missing about a week and a half. Typically, I try to post at least once a week. I've, I missed last week. Um, there's a new, like, I'm, I'm addicted to Zero Blade Chronicles X. I'm just getting that out there. Zero Blade Chronicles X is a game for the Wii U. Um, I do own a Wii U. I'm a Wii U guy. And uh, it is, it, the game is amazing. Huge open world JRPG. Um, can be played online. That's pretty cool. I mean, if you have friends, that's cool. I don't play online. But it's awesome. There's swords and guns. Aliens. Uh, visually, it is beautiful. Um, honestly, the the battle system takes some getting used to, but it's it's cool now that I know what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. There's so much that you can change and customize and do with your characters and like the, the where where you live and different weapons. Every every item is like visual. Does some sort of visual effect. So if you have a new sword, it looks like you have a new sword. Anyway. Amazing, amazing game. Enough about that. That's where I've been. I also went to Barnes & Noble. Said I wasn't going to, but I caved. I went twice, um, bought a couple things every time. It wasn't a big haul. Um, before I get into this, the last video I did was me deconstructing the old bookcase and putting up the two new ones that I've got right there, which honestly look pretty nice. So I kind of shuffled around some books. Um, I didn't touch any of those three cases though, so if you are current on the library tours, this will all still be new stuff to you, but these I kind of scrambled around so they look a little bit better. And I've got this row of books here. Um, this is One Piece. I don't know if you all can see, but I've got all of One Piece down there. I got that at an eBay auction just the other day. Um, I was going to do an unboxing, but I didn't I didn't think a, a video of me unboxing like 70 volumes of one series would be that cool. Uh, so I did it super fast, and that video is in the description of this video. Uh, but like, it's nothing, nothing amazing. So if you do actually care enough to check it out, the description is below. But regardless, one piece is all right there. Everything else is behind me. It's all scrambled, but it looks good. I think it looks all nice. So thanks for hanging out and supporting me through that. So, I got the, I, I left a space, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because I'm missing a chunk of fairy tale, and that is what this was all about. So, I got, uh, first, first, actually, not anything to do with fairy tale, Blue Exorcist 14, fight Hellfire with Hellfire. Blue Exorcist is a pretty badass series, except the release, the speed at which they are released, is not so badass. Um, they are released incredibly slow, so there's only 14... I started collecting maybe a year or so ago. This is the most current issue. Um, so we'll talk about that later at an upcoming tour. But uh, I got Fairy Tale, The Ice Trail. Dun -dun. So that's pretty cool. It's another Fairy Tale spinoff. We've got three of them now. Hard to believe it's happened so fast. And then, this is not up to present, but oh, I got issue, or volumes, sorry, volumes 42 through 48. They look like this. I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Um, so, Fairy Tale by Hiro Mashima. Uh, they retail at $10.99, except Barnes and Noble is doing that buy two get one free sale at the time when I got all of these. So, they were significantly cheaper. Plus, I got my membership. Get a Barnes and Noble's membership. Highly recommended. Here we go. 46, 47, and 48. There we go. So, these are gonna go hang out up there, and I'm just gonna put them up there because I'm excited. You're gonna have to deal with it. Alright. Yes. Sweet. Okay, so... Blue's hanging out up there with them. He's kinda like the bookend. When I get more, they're gonna go past Blue, past Kirby. I've also got a couple other Volume 1s up there. My Hero Academia. Um, Black Bullet, Log Horizon, stuff that I expect to get bigger as time goes on. When I rearrange the case, part of my goal is to leave space for series that we're going to expand. Like One Punch Man, Seraph of the End. I've been missing some Berserk volumes back there, so I can actually fill them in. I won't have to scramble it again anytime soon. A couple other things. Um, oh, sorry, going back to the, the One Piece volumes, when I unboxed them, 
this was the volume one. Now, I know you guys can't really see it, um, but that's because it's holographic. Front and back and spine. Holographic cover. I have no idea why. I have no clue. But it's it's awesome, don't get me wrong. It might be a, a first edition, special edition. Um, but I have, I seriously, I don't know. That's freaking dope as hell. Oh my god. No, it really is. Limited edition, 3,805 of 5,000. That is cool. So, that's, that's pretty awesome. Limited edition, volume one of One Piece. And then, uh, I also got this, and this is in a different language than what I am accustomed to. Um, looks like a, some sort of, like, a history of One Piece or something like that. Um... It might be Spanish or Portuguese or something like that. Let me know if you guys know what the heck that is. It's Shonen Jump, like it's issued by Shonen Jump. It kind of looks like a, like a Japanese volume does with the dust jacket and everything. But I don't know. I don't know what the heck that is. But that's pretty cool. Another thing is, a lot of books that I got in that haul look like this. Don't treat your manga this way. This is like a personal request from me to you guys. If you've got books, treat them like books. I know they're comics. Uh, but this like it just hurts my heart guys. It makes me so sad to see them all warped and twisted So I'm gonna do major surgery on that Poor piece of work um, And then the, the note I got a note with the package. Thank you very much. This is a little picture of Luffy That was kind of funny. That's that's pretty cool. Okay, so enough of that one piece going on to the the second trip that I went to Barnes & Noble um I just didn't want a good sale. I didn't want to pass up a good sale. So, I bought uh, volume one of Die Wurgelder. I don't really know how to pronounce that word. But this is from uh, Hiroaki or something like that. Hiroaki Samura, the dude from Blade of the Immortal, which I'm presently reading. Um, I'm about halfway through. And it is dope, guys. Thank you for recommending Blade of the Immortal. I love it to death. I thought, I think it is great. And I can't wait for it to conclude. Um, still missing the last volume. I really gotta get on that because I'm pretty close. But it is so cool. It's totally my style. I love the samurai uh, like aspect of stuff like that. So that's pretty sweet. Anyway, got this one for free. So which two did I buy, you ask? Um, this one was 20 bucks. Retail is 20 bucks. Um, and it says it's, this book contains volume 1 and 2 of Japanese editions, cool, parental advisory, explicit content, rated M, ages 18 and up. It's still got the plastic wrap on it, I haven't actually checked it out. Uh, but rated M. So I was like, let's get some more M rated stuff, I guess, I don't know why, but it happened that way, and I got volumes 1 and 2 of Prison School. Prison School, I had no interest in whatsoever, because it looks like a BDSM manga uh, type story, and I, that's what I thought it was, and it still kind of is, but it is, more than anything, it is a comedy. I read, my, my younger brother was like, please read it, please read it, and finally I was like, okay, I'll check it out. So I bought the first two, and I've read the first volume, which I guess is volumes one and two, um, but I read the first one, and I've never laughed out loud harder in my life while reading. Like, this was so damn funny on so many different levels, I couldn't handle myself. Like, I was I was laughing uncontrollably toward the end of the book. So it's amazingly good for that aspect. The art is also fantastic. It's up there with, like, Naoki Urasawa and uh, Obata. People like that. Like, really damn detail art. Amazing art. The only problem is... It's sexualized. Like hell, it's sexualized. Um, so if that bothers you, to some people it's a deal breaker. To me, I can overlook it because it is damn funny. Um, and it doesn't get funny right away, maybe like halfway through the book. It gets like hilarious and then it just goes off the rails from there. And it's like amazingly funny. So I can't wait to read the second one. I kind of broke uh, my streak of Blade of the Immortals and bust this in. They only have the two out right now, um, but that's what we got thus far. One more thing, if I can freaking find it. Oh yeah, here we go. Lucas came out on Friday. I know you guys don't care about Amiibo, but Lucas, guys, and honestly, I don't really give a shit about Lucas. He, he kind of, 
I don't think I've ever even played Lucas. I played Ness like twice, and that was enough to know that I will never play as Ness again, and he's not a good character. And I'm sorry if you guys play as Ness or Lucas, uh, but your opinion is wrong. Nothing against the Mother games, uh, but in Smash, Ness is, is um, and Lucas is just like Ness. But the figure itself, the amiibo itself, is really damn detailed. His hair looks really good. I know there's not like a lot of detail you can do on a freaking cartoon character child, uh, but it, it looks pretty sweet. Like, definitely pretty cool. Um, so this is up to present with the Smash Amiibo. Uh, we've got Roy and Ryu. Roy, you guys. Roy and Ryu are coming out uh, in like March, I think. Got both of them pre-ordered thanks to Twitter. Um, so I guess that's really all I've got to say about Amiibo. So Lucas, yay, whatever, we'll put him in the back. Um, so that's that's the Barnes & Noble haul, and uh, like I said before, I hope you are all doing awesome. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, I appreciate the views, I appreciate the comments, I appreciate all that you guys do for me. Uh, one final thing that I forgot to mention, I was going to mention this at the beginning. On that note though, uh, I have hit 666 subscribers. Probably a little bit more by the time this actually goes up, and I figure that's a good number for another contest. Uh, I, I didn't know what the number was, I said I'd know when I found it. And 666 is a good number uh, for a lot of reasons, but I think it's a, it's a nice number. So, 666 subscribers. I'm going to do a contest. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be prizes. I want to do something a little bit different than last time. Um, and I, I don't want to say something now and have myself change my mind and like get you guys disappointed. But I am for sure going to do prizes. We're going to do another drawing. Um, I think that would be kind of fun. Hope you guys are into that. So I appreciate all the subscribers. Never even thought, I didn't even think I'd hit 150. When I got to 150 it was like mind blowing. And then it just skyrocketed from there, which I find to be amazing. Um, so I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I mean, that's kind of a lot of responsibility, and I I kind of feel weird talking to so many people on a daily basis, or at least having uh, me talking to you. You can't always really respond the way I would love it if you could. Um, but anyway, I appreciate it. Is what I'm trying to say. So thanks again for hanging out, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'll talk to you all next video later.